Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of On Point Live right here from the Manhattan Beach Studios. I'm Vince Ferragamo, and this is Jackie Slater, and we're here to take a look at the upcoming NFL season, and we're talking about the Los Angeles Chargers. How about those Chargers, huh? <laughs> if you live in Los Angeles, you got a lot of reasons to be a football fan. The Rams are really good, but this team right here is really, really special. A defensive-minded head coach, Brandon Staley, did something that was a little bit unusual. He went out and hired an offensive coordinator, Kellen Moore, formerly of the Dallas Cowboys, and he let him draft a bunch of offensive ball players, like Johnston, that great oh, wide receiver out of TCU. But the thing that I like about the Chargers is that this football team is capable of striking and scoring points at any particular time, anywhere on the field. With the addition of Johnston, Vince, this guy's a run-after-the-catch guy. Dynamic. 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 Run after catch. Six foot four, Jack. He can move. He's a target. He's a big playmaker. Big playmaker. He, he there, can make it There happen. is no doubt about that. And he, he would, you, know, you, you factor him in there with Williams and Keenan Allen. Now that receiving core is as solid as any in the National Football League. The thing that I like that really pops when you bring a Kelly Kellen Moore in. Kellen Moore at the Dallas Cowboys a year ago, they averaged 132 yards a game on the ground. So they're going to run the football. I hope Austin yeah. Eckler, he's going to be earning every cent of that money that they pay him. He got that raise, you know. So look Well, they don't want to have any more collapses, Jack, like they did last year in the playoffs, leading by 24 points or, you know, 27, like 27 points. And, Jack, they, and they so, lost. You know, they can't have that happen. So they have to have ball control. But I think that's what Kellen Moore is going to bring to the table. Yeah. And the way you have ball control is you institute a good offense with a lot of running in their variety, a lot of variety in their running, yeah. and then you got to have people that can execute up front. This offensive line, a couple of years ago, Vince, we yeah. sat and we talked about how young Pipkins was and all of that, and how young Slater was, who proved us yeah. both wrong because he went right ahead on Jamari as a rookie. Sawyer. Jamari Sawyer, a guy that they found. They, yeah. They've got uh, Corey Lindsey, the center. This is a very experienced now group of offensive linemen. They're very capable, big, physical guys. Johnson uh, that played right guard for them a, a, a year ago. This is a talented offensive line. And when you've got big, talented people, you can do a whole lot of things on the offensive side of the ball. I'm looking for Kellen Moore to be a little bit more dynamic than what we've seen in the past, and it's going to open the door for a guy like Herbert, Justin Herbert, Vince. Don't you think he's going to just thrive in, with all yeah, this protection and variety? He's coming into his fourth year, Jackie, and they're always supporting, and more support keeps flowing in. I mean, look at the draft choices they had. Most of everybody in offense, but they did some good defensive picks as well. But I think, Jackie, this team complements one another. And then coming into his fourth season, Season, he's ready to is he is he a Super Bowl quarterback I think he is he just needs a defense to support him now they got Kendricks at middle linebacker yeah, Jackie that's, that's right. a big acquisition that's he right. can go from sideline to sideline Jack that's he right. can make plays Derwin James in the backfield Khalil Mack okay Brandon Joey, Staley is a defensive-minded coach. Joey Bosa. Don't forget okay. about Joey, Joey Bosa. Bosa. Okay. They have to put heat on the opposing quarterback. No doubt about Jackie. it. No they doubt need about to it. make the stops when they have to. There's no question to me that their offense can't score points. They can score almost at will. I mean, and that's what's going to happen. Austin Eckler is the most versatile back in the AFC West. Absolutely. Okay, Jackie, there's no reason why they can't move forward and even have a better year than last year. I, I'm anticipating a better year than last year, Vince. And, 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 you know, Brandon Staley is a young coach and a young yeah. head coach, and we've seen him do some yeah. things over the last Go couple for it years. On four down. Going for it on fourth down <laughs> deep in your own territory. Oh, that, that doesn't usually right, that on. doesn't lose, lend itself with yeah. much success. But what yeah. that did was it bred a lot of comfort confidence yes. into his player, into his team. His team knows from the head coaching position right now, they are trying to win ball games. They're going to take risks. They're going to take shots. They're going to do whatever it takes in, in unusual situations. And I think that's what separates Brandon Staley from a lot of other coaches. He's got the mindset and the will to do something just a little bit out of the ordinary. He is unique, Jackie. He's unique. I think he's he's confident. As you mentioned, Jackie, they have a lot of, uh, of camaraderie with this team. It's, there's a close connection between head coach and players beyond what's on the football field. Absolutely. And that makes a big difference, as you know. When you want to play for a guy, you're going to do everything you can to play for a coach that's a really good guy. Absolutely. And so I, I see this. Did we even mention Derwin James? 
mean, <laughs> that's, 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 and don't forget about it's all pro. Don't, don't, don't forget about this, the kid that they got, the high CJ, the the cornerback that they brought in last year from the right. Patriots. He's going to be on the men. So yeah. I'm expecting this team to be better all around and as they, a, on, on both sides of the line. Complimentary some, football is what I'm expecting they to see a lot somebody of. from Boise State, Jackie, a defensive lineman. This great against Big, the run. Yeah, excellent. And you know, a couple of years ago, they were one of the worst teams against the they run. Were. They were. They're going to shore that up a little bit this They're year. They're going to have to. Because but teams, you, I tell you, teams are going to start running the football more. Absolutely. You're going to see, as much as it is a pass-happy offense in this league today, you're going to see a lot more teams running the ball more consistently. I, I, and I agree with that 100%. And we need to look no farther than up north there, San Francisco, with Kyle Shanahan, how he's consistently in, been intriguing with his with his rushing attack. So I'm expecting a lot from yeah. the from the Los Angeles Chargers. And there's a that, that rivalry between them and the Rams now. It's going back and forth. You know, yeah, you got to right. you go, you're going to have to decide. Hey, man, who's playing the best football? Let's go get <laughs> right. the tickets to them Let's because go. both of them are right here playing and so. The, the the best stadium in the in the country, right. wouldn't you That's say? Right. That's the most right. beautiful stadium. Both best of them are playing there, and they're vying for the same fan base and the same fan community. So the winning team here, it's going to be fun watching yeah, the I crowds think. come to the winning team and watching them play. Right. Well, two years ago it was the Rams. Maybe now it's going to be the Chargers. Maybe it's going to be the Chargers. We'll see. So you have to stay with us through the rest of this year as we bring you more and more updates on the NFL season. So until next time, Jackie, stay, stay on, on point. point.